we're on the top floor of the Conrad Resorts World. Here's a key. Pretty generic. Door's unlocked. My key actually worked. This is what... Hmm. This is what a king bed premium strip view room looks like. Here's a full room tour. First thing we're going to start with is the location. Key locations anywhere in the building. All of this area right here, here are the elevators. Keep in mind, the elevators for the lower section up to, row, up to uh, level 36 are here. And there's other elevators low rise right over here. This is maintenance on a high floor. Just keep in mind, these doors are maintenance doors. All the premium view rooms are here, suites are at the end. This is the highest floor you can get to in the Conrad. Uh, levels 59 to 65 are uh, Crockford's rooms, and 66 is the Sky Casino and Lounge. First thing we're gonna notice is this marvelous entrance area and the room. But we're gonna start here. Should be a light sensor, there it is. And you get uh, storage space, two robes, some hangers and a hair dryer and there's something up there, I'm not sure what, slippers. Ironing board. Huh. The dry cleaning is cheaper than the drinks. And I'll show you what the drinks are. You get a full length, almost full length, mirror here to check uh, to see your outfit. Over here, we have two sinks, a double vanity, the D for double maybe, or they just decided to not make it square. I don't know, something. Um, double vanity for two people, which is very useful. I can account for that many times. Um, four towels, so two each or three for the lady and one for the gentleman. If you're here, two people, we all know how that works. Hair dryer, we got sink. Deep is deep. I like, I like this, how deep it is and how centered this is. We got Mojave Ghost. Hand wash and body lotion. This is uh, just some, you know, bathroom kit. Q-tips and such, washcloths. You got these nice fluffy bath mats. They're really nice. Uh, toilet behind frosted glass. Um, it's not soundproof, it's just a door and you uh, can't see in, which is good. Shower, love this shower. Um, man, you can have a party in the shower. You got a sink, a seat, Rainfall shower head as well as a normal uh, removable one, which is adjustable for different settings. You have your, I like these, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and you got your settings here as well as the change for those two. That's the shower. Oh, you get some nice tile here, nice red tiling, and then I want to say marble. I'm not really sure. Um, got some rock there. Pretty sure marble, granite. Nice. It really, it's 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 really nice. This is uh, this hotel this is the first anniversary of the opening of this hotel. Where's the light switch? Here it is. This is the uh, this is the anniversary of its first opening. Um, forgot to mention light switch right here. Okay, it's a motion sensor up there because it just turned on. Keep that open. So lights go off and lights go. On. Here's the room. It's 550 square feet. Um, and if you don't believe me, because it's hard to tell by the pictures, it is the bathroom has tons of space. I mean, it goes from the wall all the way to there, and it's deep. Um, we're gonna start here with the mini bar. Um, these are all chargeable items. I looked at the price. Um, Twelve dollars, thirty dollars. These are seven dollars each. Thirty-seven, forty-two for just two chargers and a wall outlet. Um, but you can fill your own ice. At the ice machine, which I hope is on each floor. Uh, mini bar, which I wouldn't even bother opening. Uh, after 30 seconds, it will charge you. So you can pick it up, put it back down, uh, and it'll charge you after 30 seconds. You got your own fridge on the right side, which I think is a smart idea for your own food. Like I got some now um, with the temperature setting all the way back there. But it's, it's a good size. I mean, it's Vegas. You're not gonna be eating in your room that much. There's a billion places to eat. Uh, over here is just what the front desk gave me, not my car keys, um, but I always ask for a property map when I come to places like this. Shows you all the stores, restaurants, and the pool deck, which I think is really nice. Um, and we can't, we're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna go take a look at the window view. 
But uh, there's also the mall, so you got everything up to level five, which uh, most people don't go up to. It's in the conference area, and uh, we're gonna go up there anyway because it's it's open. Um, Denting rewards. It was available at the desk. You get a reward for signing up. Um, if you're a gold or above, um, I believe gold and above, you get a food and breakfast credit for twenty-five dollars at the dog house. Um, however, that's only for breakfast. And the lady at the front desk said you can use it at any place, basically. Um, on property, she said. I believe she said, sun, "Sunny, uh, sun's out, buns out, and the kitchen." But uh, it's it's a hundred, it's a uh, fifty bucks a day, up to two guests. So fifty bucks a day, it could be used twenty four seven. It doesn't matter when you do it. A lot of people have these questions. It doesn't matter when you do it. It is. I'm staying two nights, for example, with two people, a hundred dollars. It's just a hundred dollar credit. So if you're staying one night with two people, you will get a fifty dollar credit. It doesn't matter where you use it. Um, it says doghouse. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you use it, I believe. Um, but I'm probably gonna go to the doghouse. Um, she did mention Sun Up Buns Out and the kitchen as well. Uh, food delivery powered by Grubhub, which is stupid. Delivery times are about 60 minutes. It's quicker just to go downstairs and get it, unless you know you don't want to get dressed. Um, shelving here, which I put some bags of uh, dry food, um, and we have this huge room. Storage area for a bag or a, it's not really a seat. It could be a seat. Um, I could have put my bag there actually. It is It is for a bag. Tons of drawers, counter space. Oh my God, they're so smooth and they're soft closing. I love the design of this. This is real rock. Um, 65 inch TV. It may not look like it, but the room is pretty big. Nice painting of some dragon fruit. Cool lamp, I kind of want that in my house. Uh, you get this nice, uh, it's not called an end table, it's a, whatever, it's an inch, it's a bench, an end bench, an inch. Uh, you have wireless charging, iHome, uh, Bluetooth, I assume, yes, Bluetooth, wireless charging, um, and you got USB-C, we got USB-C, uh, oh, 18 watt, and a USB-A 12 watt, that's pretty good. Um, we'll see how it works, lamps, looking nice. This is the bed light right here. It's gonna be beautiful at night. One switch turns them both on and off. It's gonna look really good at night, honestly. Um, this bench, it's enough to uh, sleep a small child in. We also got some storage areas down here and you do get a pen and a paper, although mine looks used and there's only two sheets of paper. That's kind of nasty. Phone, uh, <laughs> well, the $45 resort fee covers long, local and long distance calls of which I will be using my cell phone because that looks dirty. Um, lamp also works. AC. Um, well, I had my, it was at, it's at 69 degrees. Um, the room was at 71 before. I guess it got hotter because I had the window shades open, but uh, it's 110 ounce, so I, I don't blame it. But, uh, and I'm on high floor, so. Over here at this table, um, you got one of my keys. You have the activity list, which I love, um, as well as this Vegas magazine and this wine guide. Um, either way, if you're gonna come here and you have a car, um, there's a liquor store like across the street if, to get your wine, unless you unless you wanna pay Vegas prices. But honestly, it's downstairs. Everything is downstairs. Like I like these chairs. Color, just, it, it contradicts the room but their theme is red and their theme is Asian because that's what this is supposed to be. It was supposed to be a Chinese owned casino, which I still, I think it is. Um, anyway, room rate, if you're wondering, at the time of booking, 105 a night. For, and I, what I did get was I booked the, key, the cheapest room, the king room, uh, standard view, whatever, and they upgraded me uh, because it's, it's, a, it's midweek to a premium view. Um, I got to choose my room. Um, it gave me all the options. I picked the highest floor, naturally, and with a view of the screen, which I'll show you. Um, at the time of booking, like I said, 105. W yesterday when I checked, it was 94 a night as the Hilton Irish discount, so it went down by about $11. Um, so 94 a night, midweek July. Uh, sorry, June, last week of June. Now for the perf, now for the, what everyone's waiting for, is what kind of view do you get? Now, if you looked at the map, which is very, which, you know, you're like, why are you looking at the map? Well, this is why, because 
the way the building is shaped, if you're at the very end, you won't be able to see the LED uh, cinema screen. You can see the windows of the Hilton over there. Um, I said we are on the 58th floor, top floor is 66. Um, it looks like the LED screen ends at 58 because all the rooms above that are Crockford's in both towers. That's Hilton, this building. This building is Conrad. Both wings, top floor, uh, sorry, 59 to 65 are Crockford's. Um, start with the downstairs area, the pool. We got the district, which is a mall. This is, that's the AU Day Club. Um, you know, if you want to party and, and, and do that. It looks like it's closed right now. I guess it's Tuesday. Um, but if you're staying here, oh man, do you have, you have choices. The only infinity pool in Las Vegas right there. It looks really low. It looks like it's on the ground, but it's really not. It's on, like, it's on the fifth floor or sixth floor or something. Um, or, or, or maybe 10th floor. I don't know. Um, but you overlook the strip, which is really nice. Uh, you have the adults only pool on the left. You can signify that by yellow chairs. Um, also down here, you have the, they call it the relaxed pool. It's long, it has, you have a strip of grass. You have a, a, a gentle, you have some seats down there. Um, and you've got all that room. You can just lounge in the water, it's hot out. Um, and you can just swim in there as well. That's, that's, not, that's one right there too. The next side is, is, is probably the family favorite besides that one over there. Um, that one is this, it's like a circular pool uh, with grass in the middle. It's my favorite seat over there, right there. Um, however, you probably have to pay for those beds unless no one's taking them. You can just kind of sit there until uh, the staff and yells at you, which, you know, they'll do. However, like I said, it's not busy right now. More grass over there. It's a, that's a great spot, quiet area-ish. Um, and then another pool over there. And then the kids pool. Um, I say a kiddie pool. It's really not that small, as you can see. Um, and these are the pools. Oh, you got two more down here. Oh, you got three more. One, one, two, three, and a hot tub. So let's see. One, two, three. There's another hot tub there. Four, five, six is a hot tub. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, that's a hot tub right there. I believe that's a hot tub. 15, 16, 17, 18, okay. 19 bodies of water total. 15 if you're talking about the hotel. So you have your choices here. Um, here we are facing west. A um, bunch of hotels you could see. You could see planes taking off at the airport. The wind and the encore right here. Uh, the wind and the encore used to be, once you hit there, that's the north end of the strip. However, now with the Resorts World uh, and then the Hilton Grand Vacations it's in the uh, Strat Hotel, it's really, you know, the Strat used to be off the Strip or north of the Strip, but really it's been extending up to there for a long time. You can see construction on the side of the road there. They're extending the sidewalks. Uh, they either repaved it or widened it. Either way, good choice. Um, there's a garden out front. You can't see it all the way over there. You can't see it. Uh, when the Encore right there, golf course behind it, which you can kind of see. Um, there you go. You get the Palazzo. The Venetian below the Palazzo we used to be the highest hotel in Vegas, not anymore. Sorry guys, this is the newest hotel by the way, the Cosmopolitan, which you can see right in front, right there. It was built ten years ago. That's that was the second newest uh, follower Palazzo, just a, at the around the same time. Anyway, that's it for the room tour. Um, big questions and comments below. I'm gonna go discover the hotel a little bit, um, and that's really it. Like I said, premium view king room. Select your room in the app. It's really handy and it actually works. You get your key right on your phone, um, but get real keys anyway. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.